Hi everybody, Rechief here, and welcome back to yet another exciting episode of Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations, Miles Edrith Prosecutor's Path, Episodes 1 through 5 Beta. Last time, we sort of unlocked this roof area by having Penny Nichols step aside, so this time, I guess we're going to head on up there. May we see the roof? Yes, of course. Go right ahead. Ooh. That's a big cow head. So this is Muzilla. Huh? Somehow this doesn't feel quite right. See, this looks way cooler. And he doesn't have a nose ring either. Ah, I see. You two aren't familiar with Muzilla. This is Muzilla's original design from 12 years ago. What? Th then what's this? That's our take on it for the new movie. We revamped the design to appeal to a modern audience. Oh, by the way, um, I found out where Ke uh, Penny is from. She's from the third case of the first game. Um, I looked that up the other day. I was very careful not to look up any spoilers uh, as to what she does in this game. Um, so, uh, just a little, little tidbit there for those of you like me who may not have remembered exactly where she came from. Revamped. But it looks totally different. And no matter how you look at this one, it's a cow. Well, of course. After all, Muzilla was originally a cow monster. A cow monster? Having a cow, an animal that humans are very familiar with, turn into a monster allows us to question mankind's relationship with nature. That's the theme of Muzilla. Meh, I just don't get it. Nor do I. I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious-looking nook and cranny. We made this replica of the original Muzilla's head for, the promo uh, for promotional purposes. We'll be using it to let people know that the film is a sequel to the original series. I guess it would be hard for people to tell... Uh, I guess it would be hard for people to tell that they're the same monster. It looks similar enough, right? Well... Eh. As we suspected, one of the horns appears to be broken. So, did this head really crush the president? It's possible, however. There's something I don't quite understand. What's that? Ms. Nichols, this head looks rather heavy. How do you transport it? Ah, it's made so that it can be taken apart. It's not that hard if you know how to do it. But if you don't know how, it'd be pretty much impossible, I think. Which means it would be difficult for an anyone. Uh, which means it would be difficult for anyone not involved in the film. When taken apart, would it be possible for one person to carry it alone? Definitely. Given enough time, uh, given enough time, even I could do it. Muzilla's head data <laughs> jotted down in my organizer. It's kind of a funny sentence. However, this face is, Mr. Edgeworth. Um. I feel like I've seen this cow somewhere before. Indeed, I was just thinking the exact same thing. If it was on board the President's plane. And in the storeroom of the black market auction. The President's stuffed toy. So, that was a doll of the original Mozilla. Could this really be just a coincidence? Muzilla doll data jotted down in my organizer. I wonder if the uh, true mastermind has been, like, sending Muzilla dolls to the president to threaten him. Uh, and then suddenly he dies by having Muzilla dropped on his fucking body? I don't know. Oh no, I didn't actually want to leave. Okay, we're back. I'm sure there's other stuff. Like this paint. There is a can of paint thinner here. It's probably used for making props. Mr. Edgeworth, doesn't the area around here look kind of burnt? It does. This spread out blue sheet newspaper in the side of this can all look burnt. Hmm. I wonder if this Mozilla's head can also shoot out flames. Well, this old Mozilla design doesn't really look like it could breathe fire anyways. 
That's not our main concern, but I'm certainly curious. <laughs> Just imagining Edgeworth peering at Muzilla's head. He's got his arm, like his hands clasped behind his back, kind of leaning forward, like, hmm. Oh, yes, I see the flame receptors right here in his mouth. Hmm, fascinating. But, uh, I don't know. I guess that probably didn't happen. Is this more? Okay, no. There's, uh, <laughs> I was just going to read that as Edward. There's a heater here. Um, there's a heater here. Do you think the staff uses it to keep themselves warm? It's possible. Although it may be spring, it can still get rather chilly at night. M Mr. Edgeworth, people are going to think you're an old geezer if you say stuff like that. Even in the best of times, you tend to see things like an old man. Can't you at least try to be more cheerful and lively when you talk? Oh, sick burn. Do I really seem that unlively? What else we got? Uh, how about this thing? Some sort of wooden stand has fallen over. The area around it seems to be burnt black. Huh? Mozilla's head should have been on that stand. But the legs have broken off. It doesn't look like it can be used anymore. Hmm. The, the, uh... Let's try that again. Hmm. The broken legs seem to be badly burnt. I think it's safe to assume that a small fire occurred here. A small fire, huh? Is that what burnt and broke the legs of the stand? When the legs broke, the stand would have tilted. If Muzilla's head were on top of the stand, it would have fallen off. Oh, whoops. It would have fallen off. So, the head fell down because of the fire. Yes, and if that's the case, I also have a pretty good idea of what caused the fire. You do? There's a flammable... Oh, yeah, paint thinner. There's a flammable can next to the heater. It seems someone is lacking in safety awareness. Ooh, I'm sorry. I'll make sure this doesn't happen again. But I don't think anyone used the heater yesterday. I see. In that case, I wonder what caused the fire. Hmm, I'm suspecting foul play. I could probably carry a light stand of this size on my shoulder. Okay, don't tell me you're planning to steal this. Of course not. But if I carry this around with me, I could shine a spotlight on you wherever you whenever you shout objection. Man, that sounds so cool. So, when should we start? Never, please. <laughs> They have such a fun dynamic. I wish Kay wasn't like relegated to permanent side character re. It'd be cool if she showed up in the main series. Some sort of wooden stand has fallen over. <laughs> okay, good. We examined that in a completely normal way. We already looked at that. Nope. Since he had a Mozilla doll with him, maybe the president was a big fan. And his love for Mozilla was so great that he tried picking up the head and got crushed. I doubt a normal person would have the strength to lift this up. Since he wasn't involved with this movie, he would have known how he wouldn't have known how to take it apart. Hmm. If Mozilla really existed, that would explain everything though. Can't you just connect the pieces in that direction for once? With logic, I mean? Please don't give me that look. Alright, can we, uh, any, uh, any separate parts of Mozilla here we can look at? Doesn't really look like it. Uh, hmm. Well, there's gotta be other stuff here. Um. Otherwise, you know, we would, we would have come up here and we, well, we got a little bit of evidence. We got, uh, we got, uh, oh, did we just get, okay, yeah, I guess we just got Mozilla head, Mozilla doll. Oh, that's cool. We can just look at that picture whenever we want. That's good. I think that'll probably come up later. Uh, let's try backing out and then see if it's like, oh, I should look again. I already checked this area earlier, but it never hurt to take another look. Okay, good. So we're done. Uh, hmm. <laughs> we don't have any logic. Oh, did we talk to this kid? John. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Hey, old man. You really a prosecutor? Yes. <laughs> old man. Then, first, show me your prosecutor's badge. I don't have my badge with me right now. Then, 
You can't prove you're a prosecutor, old man. <sighs> hmm. This kid's a tough nut to crack, isn't he? Want me to give it a try? Yes. I'm counting on you, okay? I'm not good with kids. So, John, you're an actor? Yeah. What about it? You're amazing. That's so cool. N not really. <laughs> Aw. John's got a big old crush on Kay. How old is John? What's going on, John? 13. Okay. Not very childlike. Well, sometimes he's not. Sometimes he is. Hmm. Good grief. At least that seems to have worked. Um, about those horns. Ugh. What about them? John's horns are specially made prosthetics. John plays a young boy who has a special connection with Muzilla. He can communicate with Muzilla using those horns. Right, John? Shut up! Stop blabbering about that stupid stuff! Ooh, so sorry. I think I'm beginning to see the kind of relationship these two have. But it must be amazing to star in a movie. And you're only in elementary school! <laughs> ah. <laughs> D despite how he looks, John is 13 years old, and he's already in middle school. What? B but he's so small! And he's wearing a kitty backpack. The backpack is part of his costume. He's an actor, after all. Uh, I see, but he's still really tiny. It's probably better if you didn't talk about his height in front of... I thought I told you to stop blabbering about stupid stuff! So sorry! Seems the only thing that's not a prop is that milk carton. Oh, I just noticed that he has, like, like kind of cow spots on his uh, hoodie. You know, it's like red and black instead of white and black, but close enough. That guy over there, he's the president, right? Yep. Do you know him? Yeah. I've met him before. This boy has met with the president. Huh. <laughs> that guy makes me sick. That's not a very nice thing to say. Why do you hate the president so much? Huh. Now he's giving me the silent treatment. Uh, um, the truth is, the president was involved in the film. The president was involved in the film? What do you mean? He was supposed to have a brief cameo in the movie. He came by to look around the set some time ago. That was when he met with John. Why would the president be appearing in this film? We heard he was a fan of the original Muzilla series. And so we made him an offer. We thought it would make great publicity, you see. He comes on the movie set like he's on some sightseeing tour. It's so annoying. John, you really shouldn't say stuff like that. It's not nice. Shut it. I guess you couldn't tolerate having an amateur appear in this film. Oh, right. Here. What's this? Ah, was this from yesterday? A photo? Yeah. Since it was developed, I brought it along with me. You can have it. I think it turned out quite nicely. So, you brought it all the way here for me? Thank you so much. No, not really. I just happened to have it with me. Excuse me, but... May I take a quick look at it? Oh, sure. Here you go. <laughs> so this was taken yesterday. Neither the hoof prints nor the body are in it. Commemorative photo data jotted down in my organizer. Alrighty. Um, well... Anything fun in the organizer here that we can show John Marsh? Muzilla only exists in the movies. Whoops, wrong button. For it to become an actual incident, the thought never even crossed my mind. John, I'd like you to cooperate with the investigation. <laughs> in that case, 
Maybe you should make me care enough to cooperate, old man. Hmm. He's not very approachable. John! If you cooperate with us, I'll give you some delicious candy. You, you think that'll work on me? Don't treat me like a kid! Aw. Even my candy crush attack didn't work. What a bummer. <laughs> candy crush attack. Alright, what about Mozilla's real head? Oh, wait, did I just show him that? I know I showed him either the, uh, the real head or the stuffed head. Let's try, uh, let's try the stuffed head. Okay, no. Yep. Both give me the same thing. Hmm. What's that supposed to be? Giving me that isn't going to land you a role in the film. I wasn't showing it to you so that I could be in the movie. Hmm. So then. What do we have to do to appear in the movie? Okay, let's just leave it to that, shall we? Why not? Okay, no. Um, oh yeah, we still have that from the last case. Tell me more about the president. You, you can't. I figured, but, you know, we've got so little evidence, it's kind of like, why not? Nope. Okay. I think we're done with, with Johnny Boy here. I'll go ahead and back out of that. Uh, hmm. You want to say anything to me yet? talking to her. And I think we've already said everything we need to say to Penny. Oh, whoops. Uh... Oh, whoops, I wanted to uh, present something to you instead. Ah, that's a first-generation Mozilla plushie. So you knew about it? No, I only happened to see the doll. I didn't know anything about the films. I think this is much cuter than the head on the roof. It's a little dirty, though. That can't be helped. Those were sold quite a long time ago, after all. Back then, it was aimed at children, and it seems to have had moderate success. I just can't resist every time Penny leans forward and does the little hand cupped in front of mouth thing. I have to read whatever she's saying as, like, a juicy secret, even if it isn't. I heard a lot of them were sold as presents. Like, you can just say that. It's fine if you just say that, Penny. If someone gave me one as a present, I'd want the new and improved version of Mozilla. If someone were to give me a present, that is. Why is she looking at me when she says that? Ah, it's the photo that John brought. Who took this photo? The camera has a self-timer. We took it with just the three of us. So, about the third person, just who is in that Mozilla costume in the background? That's... actually, rather than me telling you, it'd be better if you found out for yourself. I think they'll be outside the studio a lot, so if you get a chance later, please go there. Hmm. Later. Hmm. Understood. We'll do that. That was unusually cooperative, considering that she was, like, obstructing my investigation. Mozilla is a symbol of nature. That's why it destroys cities. That's a rather sketchy explanation. It uses its horns to attack, but that's not its only technique. It has a sonic moo sound wave attack, a sticky drool spray, a sticky drool spray, dual milk shooters, that's gross, a barbecue smokescreen diversion, and a leather shoes and bags production line ultra combo. The more you describe it, the less powerful it sounds. Well, making it look powerful is a job for us filmmakers after all. Won't the producers of the movie get mad at them? Hmm. Alrighty. Um. I don't know. Like, what 
else do we need to look at here? We talked to you. We looked at all this stuff around here. We looked at this thing. Uh, is there anything else we can look at for the body? Oh, there is stuff we can look at for the body that we didn't look at before. Well, time to not rest till we discover every blah, 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 nook and cranny blah. I feel like this body is all, like, one thing. I think we established that before. We already looked at this horn. All right, yeah. Uh... Oh. There are broken pieces of concrete scattered all around the president. Yes, they were probably scattered about when the grind got damaged. And that must have been when the monster's foot went thud. If the culprit was actually a monster. Monster's footprints data jotted down in my own organizer. Hmm, it kind of looks like a hoof the way it's split in two like that. Yep, it definitely looks like a monster's footprint to me. And there's even three of them, Mr. Edgeworth. Ooh, we got the logic. There are no such things as monsters. Do you honestly believe they exist? No, not really. But would it be cool if they did exist? We're searching for the truth, okay? Not for what is cool. That's <laughs> that is the most Edgeworth thing that Edgeworth has ever said. That's just his entire character encapsulated in one sentence. Okay, now are we done? Ah! Oh. Okay, so we are done with this area. Do we have enough logic to, like, do anything? I don't think... I think we only got one piece of logic. Yeah. Hmm. So we looked all through that. We looked all up here. Um... Do we get, like, evidence we're supposed to present? Monster's footprints. Maybe we should... Let's try talking to, uh, Penny about that. After we skip through this incredibly long conversation. Okay, here we go. If I remember correctly, the Mozilla in our film also has split hooves. Surely you're not suggesting that the president was trampled to death by a monster. Oh no. Rather, speaking as a member of the studio staff, I don't believe Mozilla would commit a murder. <laughs> Giant monsters only bother the people in the movies. That's the cardinal rule for those involved in monster movies. Indeed. It would be problematic if it weren't that way. Alright. Can we show you the footprint? Hoofprint? Nope. Dang. What the heck else are we supposed to look at then? I'm kind of stumped here. Um, yeah, I don't know. We already looked at this thing. Uh-huh, the waterproof tarp. Yep, 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 yep. It'd be really nice if, like, like in future Ace Attorney games, it'll kind of show you, like, a check mark if you've already examined something. I'm really missing that feature right about now. Not entirely sure what I am supposed to be looking at. We already, I know we already looked at Mozilla. We already looked at this dent right here. We can't even look at it, actually. Um, we looked at the... Oh! Oh! What the fuck? Ugh. I can't believe they put that right next to the chain. I thought I'd already looked at it. This leads to the Grand Tower. But from where I'm standing, all I can see are just your everyday run-of-the-mill buildings. I don't see anyone special at... <laughs> look at that! Aw, we got a little Phoenix and Maya cameo. That's cute. I don't see anyone special around here either. Indeed, at least from where we're standing, that is. Now then, we have no time to waste. We should get back to investigating the film lot. Man, that's cool. I wish that it had given me evidence of any kind at all. Um, I appreciate that little cameo. Yeah, we looked at the... Oh, okay. That's just all part of one big thingy. Dang, man. What? I don't know. Like, what else is there at this point? Uh, I just 
feel as though we've kind of looked at everything and really exhausted our options, but obviously we haven't. Um, yeah, man. Right, we just got, yeah, we just got the one piece of evidence there. Let's talk to Kay. Kay, what do you think about all this? Yeah, what's up? I still can't believe the president has been murdered. Do you think he was really trampled to death by a monster? Surely you can't be serious. There are no such things as monsters. What? So it wasn't a monster who did this? Then who do you say killed the president? As the president of Zhangfar, I'm sure there are more than a few people targeting his life. Just like Shelley the Killer tried to do not too long ago. So, you think he was killed by someone like Mr. De Killer? I can't say for certain yet, but neither can I deny that possibility. But we can't deny the possibility of him being killed by a monster either. I mean, just take a look at all these monsters' footprints. Plus, a horn-like object was lying on the ground next to the president. A horn-like object? I can't say for certain that it's not related to this case. Perhaps I should take a moment and compare it with the evidence I have on hand. Oh, um, okay. No, 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 I did that already. I did that already. That's an old hint. I did that last episode. Well, what else you got for me, Kay? I never would have thought we'd run into Mr. Lang in a place like this. But he didn't seem to be in a very good mood, though. It's understandable. Agent Lang is from the Republic of Zheng Fa. With President Huang's death, he must have a lot on his mind. Come to think of it, he doesn't have his men in black in tow with him today either. I always picture him with an army of subordinates following him around. Agent Lang, I wonder if something has happened to him. Did you already know about this Muzilla monster? Nope, I just learned about it today. I mean, the movie came out 12 years ago, right? Back then, I was just a cute little girl. Oh yeah, she would have been like five? She would have been like five years old. Yep. But the mighty Mozilla sure does sound pretty sweet. <laughs> it certainly does seem like the kind of movie you would enjoy. Well, duh, it's a giant monster. What's not to like about giant monsters? I, for one, can't understand the appeal of these so-called giant monsters. Well, I don't get what's so great about the Steel Samurai. Ugh. Hey, I'll have you know, the Steel Samurai is... Yeah, yeah, more importantly, shouldn't we get back to our investigation now? Why don't we take a minute to reorganize any information we haven't yet put together? We might be able to make a new connection. Yes, indeed. Well, I wish we could. I think we're going to have to go ahead and end the episode here. Um, I will ruminate about this for a while, and when I return, hopefully be better prepared to take on the challenges ahead. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, next time, we find out the secrets of Mozilla. Woo!